going on, everybody? Welcome to the show. Sorry for the delay. We were uh, wrapping up. It is a, let's just to say it is a busy week this week uh, is an understatement. Uh, you guys, it is, uh, it's, it's, it's borderline bonkers. Um, like I said, they were basically saying, um, it, the short of it is that I feel that like people feel like I'm torturing myself. And, and they could be right. I could, I could literally be torturing myself. I don't know. We'll have to find out when we get there a little bit later. But welcome, everybody. Happy... Uh, happy, um, I don't know what day it is, it's Wednesday, happy Wednesday, welcome to the channel, super stoked to have you guys here, dude, Zeiston, 41 months, that is crazy, uh, that is a really long time, and I would like to say, I would like to do a huge thank you to everybody, today I can officially say that we have hit the first month of the um, Partner Plus goal, so we have passed uh, 350 subs. We are on our way, and it, it continues to climb. So, uh, climb. So, thank you very much for all of you guys for making that happen. You guys are rock stars, and I really, really appreciate it. So, month one down. That means we've unlocked the 14900K. Uh, we'll be doing that giveaway on Saturday, uh, uh, along with a. I think we're doing an Intel build in the APCX1. So that'll be a lot of fun. So tune in on Saturday. We'll be giving away a 14900K. That should be a lot of fun. That doesn't mean that things aren't still, we still have this ridiculous Spider-Man PC that's sitting back here that's up for grabs to one lucky subscriber. So all you gotta do is subscribe, use your Amazon Prime sub, that gets you a free entry. We are giving this away after the month of December. Uh, we, who was it? It was like Scrubby, Scrubby Decals 12 or something like that. That was the winner of, and, I, and I'll send that to Blondie. That was the winner of last month's build. So it was like Scrubby Decals or something like that. You, by the way, can I just get a, what is up with Twitch names? Sometimes these names or whatever it was, but a uh, person is already gone. Their build already went out. We actually got it shipped out already. So they're already done. Um, <clears throat> but uh, this one is up for grabs for that, for anybody who still wants to go, uh, who still wants to uh, who get in on another PC giveaway. This is all customized. Uh, from the team over at uh, Blue Horse Studios. So that PC is up for grabs. Also, Be Quiet is gonna be sponsoring a PC giveaway in the month of December. We're gonna be giving away another one that we're gonna be doing with Blue Horse. Uh, that's gonna be happening live on stream, so that'll just be a stream giveaway. So that'll, but you'll be getting extra entries if you subscribe. Huge shout out to Najia, Zeiston, Colt415, Talarian Academy, and the House of Tom for all of those resubs. You guys are amazing. I super appreciate you guys doing that. Tier one, tier two, and so much more, guys. But you guys are rock stars. I appreciate it. Yeah, I know that is true. Yeah. So anyway, that gentlemen, that was the winner of last last month. I know it has been crazy with Thanksgiving and everything else, but I at least wanted to basically make sure that that person, the winner, has been done. The build actually went out today um, and shipped out along with some uh, some awesome um, uh, commission builds. So it's been good. So, uh, Smoke subscribing with tier three. For, uh, thank you very much, dude. Upgrading to uh, tier three right there. Uh, 25 months right there. But how are you guys doing? How was your Thanksgiving? Everybody have a good Thanksgiving? Yeeho Natan, thank you very much for the tier two sub. You are, again, everybody giving me all those extra points. You guys are helping me hit that partner plus, which we have already done. Yeah, all the PCs that I know of have shipped. All the giveaway PCs and stuff like that have shipped. So that, which is awesome. Minus one, and that is my, our main man, <laughs> Riddick. Riddick needs his build to go out. So we're just waiting for the freaking card for that because he wanted to go to a different GPU. Um, still full from Thanksgiving. I had, guys, I had the best Thanksgiving dinner I've ever had in my life. And I have been alive a long time. Uh, but I went to my uncle Paul. Uh, his name's Paul Lynch. He's a world-renowned chef. Uh, his My cousin got married and he, of course, hosted Thanksgiving dinner. And it was phenomenal. I actually put pictures up on social media. Uh, when If you watched, it was very, very good. And uh, it was, it was, it was, it was pretty dang good. I had a really restful Thanksgiving break. Thank you. I'm sorry I wasn't able to do as much streaming. Um, we tried to make it work, but it just wasn't something that was going to be possible from the very cold state of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Uh, from Minneapolis, sorry, very cold state of Minnesota, and we were of which we were in Minneapolis. But I'm here. I'm doing a stream, guys. Let me just let me just explain my life right now. So I flew in from Minneapolis. I literally was supposed to jump on a plane four hours afterwards. There was a semi truck that decided, you know what? I'm going to pick up my family in my semi truck uh, at SeaTac Airport. Got stuck. They had to shut down. Like literally, they they it was two hour. We got stuck for two hours while they tried to get the semi truck out. I missed my flight. Flew out to LA yesterday morning. Flew back into Seattle yesterday night. I'm here today. We did we did shooting all day. 
Literally, I'm going to finish the stream. I get on a plane again tomorrow morning. We have the mod workshop tomorrow afternoon. Then I fly back on Friday morning to do the Intel morning show on Friday afternoon. And then, and then I finally get a break until we go to the, uh, into the uh, Game Awards, which is happening uh, in Los Angeles. Um, so it's like, guys, it's, it's bonkers what I have, like the, the amount of travel that's going on. And then we have Atlanta, which is getting squared away and everything else. Guys, it's, it's getting crazy. A uh, huge shout out to El Solo Doctor. Love that name. Igor dropping his two gifted subs. Uh, in need of temperance, resubscribing with Prime for 19 months. And we have a level two hype train already going. Remember guys, level five, we give away a $25 New A gift card. If we get 250 likes over at youtube.com slash where we tick live, we give away a $25 New A gift card. Uh, and if we get level 10, I just give away a hundred bucks. I just give a hundred dollars however you want it. You level 10, hundred bucks, no matter what you want to do, just basically make level 10 and we give away a hundred bucks. It's just, you don't even have, it's not a gift art in anything. They give me cash if you want. So somebody's asking, Ryzen versus Intel, Sergeant Chaos. Thank you for the, the sub right there. Uh, Ryzen versus Intel, dude, whatever makes you, Riddick dropping 20 gifted subs, already trying to get us there. Uh, AZN Reaper dropping a resub with Prime. There's eight months right there. So dude, uh, yeah, Riddick just likes to, Riddick just likes to come in and drop it like it's hot. Um, I don't know, you, who's, on, who's on the line with me? We got Org and we got Zeiston. Org, Zeiston, people say Intel versus, Intel versus Ryzen. And it's funny, I will say that the majority of my techs are very pro Ryzen. Um, in terms of their, and guys, can you, are you, Zeiss, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, okay, just making sure. Yeah, a lot of my techs are very pro Ryzen. Uh, I'm pro whatever makes you happy. All in all, like you really can't make a wrong choice. Right now, I'd say the get, the best gaming G, uh, CPU out there is the 7800X3D, uh, just in terms of bang for buck and easy to cool and all that sort of stuff. Uh, but dude, you, the 14700K, man, we've been super impressed with that CPU. The more and more we've played with it, um, we have some, yeah, so it's like, I really, honestly, to me, it doesn't matter. I think they're both great options. Um, and right now, price-wise, they're kind of a little bit of a wash, but I will let, I will let Zeistin chime in and I'll let Org chime in because they may have a different perspective than I do and I'm okay with that. That's why, one of the reasons I love live streaming. So Zeistin, if you were going to choose, if you were going to explain to somebody Ryzen over Intel or Intel over Ryzen, what would you say? Uh, it's ultimately going to come down to the price. Okay. Um, what, what am I going to get a better deal on as far as processor and motherboard? Okay. Aside from that, I don't care. Yep. So 7800X 3D, 14700K, show me the best deal. Yeah, 13700K too. I mean, again, 13th gen still very viable. Uh, what about Qualcomm, Snapdragon? Hey, Telly Square, thank you very much for the Prime sub. Mick, Shur Mick Wilshire Baggins with one month of tier one. Guys, we have hit level five, $25 achieved. We are 14 subs away from already unlocking a $50 new gift card. And remember, if we get to level 10, we'll give away a hundred bucks. Uh, Org, what do you say? I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let you chime in, guys. I'm feeling. I'm feeling festive. It's Christmas. I want people to make the best choices. So I'm. I'm. Let, I'm open to other opinions. Well, for gaming only, the 7800X 3D is great for gaming. But if you do more productivity, the 14.7 is one to look at. Yep. Okay. Uh, yeah, so there you go. Basically, they agreed with me. They said the exact same thing, except for Zeiston. With actually, I really like Zeiston's advice. The thing is, is prices are fluctuating. I think you would agree with this too, Zeiston. Prices are fluctuating all the time, right? So you should see where you get the best deal. Uh, daily. Yeah, uh, daily, right? Uh, so, uh, 7702, I have not seen any notification of that yet, but if it, I'll, 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 I normally will when something like that comes happening. How many points did we have? I will give an update on points at the end of the night. Uh, we were at 362 when I checked last time. So yeah, that was my that was my information right there. I did not, so 77002, I did not get the dono. But if you did, that's a huge thank you. Uh, guys, we are at level six. Four more levels, we give away a hundred bucks. Um, let's talk about today because I need 350. I need 350. We we have hit the goal. Now it's just now it's just normal time. We I don't even have to, I don't have to beg, which it feels lame. It sucks. I really hate the game, but at the same time, you guys made it happen. And so I feel, and the only two is I have to do it for three months. I need to do it for three months. So, uh, but I really, we, we cleared it. We cleared it very well. And now we can just enjoy the normalness of stuff. But guys, we're building, 
the Be Quiet. Um, we haven't done a build in a Be Quiet case in a really long time. A uh, huge shout out to Kevin and the team at Be Quiet for sponsoring. We got two streams that they're sponsoring here. We're checking out the 800DX today. Um, and we're gonna use their new air cooler as well. So it's gonna be an air cooled build. We're gonna try and air cool a 7800X3D, which I think is a lot of fun. Um, and we're gonna make sure we do it in style uh, inside of this new case. So let's talk about parts list. Here it is right here. Guys, we are using the Ryzen 7 7800X3D. We're using the Asus Tough Gaming B650 Plus Wi-Fi. For our graphics card, the Asus Tough Gaming Radeon RX 7800XT. Uh, we've got the Samsung 980 Pro, a two terabyte NVMe version. We've got G-Skill Triton Z5 Neo RGB, 32 gigs at 6,000 mega transfer. The Be Quiet Shadowbase 800DX case. Uh, we've got the a Be Quiet Dark Rock Elite, the brand new cooler uh, from Be Quiet. So we're gonna be checking that out. And then finally, we've got the Be Quiet Pure Power 12M 850 watt, 80 plus gold PSU. You know, the best thing about this, this, uh, this PC though, Zeistin, you know what my favorite thing about the PC is? What's that? It's $1,800, guys. That is a dang good price for a 7800X3D RX 7800XT build, uh, especially like this. And it's still gonna have some RGB. It's You could change this all to all black if you wanted to and just have a smoked out build. Uh, and you know it's gonna be in a great case. I mean, dude, Everybody loves sub $2,000 and a 7800XT and an, a 7800X3D are such an awesome pair for 1440p graphics. And then now you have all of the stuff, you got you know FSR3 and all that stuff as well, so it should be cool. Yeah, I'm actually, Igor, I do too. I really like the look of it. I'm excited to see this all going in there. We're gonna see the best of the German engineering today. We're going to make sure that this build looks so good. It's going to be so beautiful. The way we, we, we build with this PC, we are going to make it look so good. And the, the performance will be top notch, if I'm not mistaken, yes. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, it should be fun. Thanks, no I. Okay, so uh, anything. Uh, I'll try to think if there's anything else. Did I, did I miss anything else, Zeistin? I, usually, you, you, you're usually on the phone with me most of the time. Did it, is there anything I'm missing? I talked about giveaways. We talked about parts. Mm -hmm. I think we, we mm -hmm. start building, right? No, well, you, can, uh, you can definitely start building. That's the best kind of thing, guys. We can actually build right now. Turdog says, I'm watching you on YouTube on my 50-inch TV. Okay, Turdog, just quick question then. If you're just looking here, since you got 50 inches... I did some pore cleaning on my nose. Does it look, uh, the pore is looking pretty good. You know that, what was I mean? the per that was the perfect time for me to turn off my 65 Oh, there inch. you go. Yeah, just making sure those look pretty good. I just want to make sure. Thank you very much for letting me know. Turdog, if there's some blackheads I need to get, I need to get squared away, uh, let me know. I want to make sure. <laughs> oh. Blondie loved that. <laughs> That's too close. They look smooth, smooth as butter. That's what we're saying. Anyway, guys, thank you very much. Uh, we got level five, so we've unlocked that. 34 subs, 120 bits, uh, and we are rocking it, guys. We are now 12 subs away from unlocking the $50 new gift card. Okay, well, let's start putting our MOBO together. And by the way, oh. huge shout out to Asus, right? Because we're using all tough stuff today. Ugh, how was your Thanksgiving, Zeiss? Did you smoke stuff? Oh, I smoked a ton of food. Matter of fact, I just finished eating dinner, which was leftovers from my party on Saturday. Oh, nice. By the way, guys, we have a new, a new roaming camera debut. We got, we went to a different roaming camera. This one's from BenQ. Um, and then the other thing too, I wanna, I'm very excited about this. I, I bought one thing on Black Friday and it's not what you thought. So I don't know if you guys know this, but Ray-Ban re uh, released a new version of the Wayfair 2s. And these ones allow you to stream. So I got prescription Ray-Ban Wayfarers, which means you have the, the camera built in. I should be able to go to iCam now and be able to stream and you guys can see what I'm looking at directly. So we're gonna test that out too. Um, and then, uh, so yeah, that should be that should be super cool. I think, I think that's gonna be a lot of fun. Stretch first, okay, I'll stretch first. Is that, was that a good stretch? Did you guys feel like that was a good stretch? I was trying to. Try uh, I don't know that you didn't have quite enough energy into that stretch. I didn't. I didn't have enough energy. That wasn't. There wasn't enough energy in my stretching. Uh, what are our clicks going to be like today, Zeistin? What do you think? Mm. You know, I'm feeling nice today. Let's give. Let's give them a 96. 96 today, guys. Hey, Kenneth, thank you very much for the. Uh, thank you very much for the tier one. 
is the new Rome cam at least okay so here we go you guys ready for the new Rome cam we'll, we'll, we'll do our first view of it here okay here comes the new Rome cam okay here we go new Rome cam here it is right here it's got a light and everything the new Rome cam boom here it is there it is the new Rome cam it is 1080p you know what I mean it also has this really crazy thing check this out it actually has a magnifying glass that lets you do like super close. So I can like get like right up in there. Like here is my my build mat at super close look. So yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah, we could look up my nose. Here we go. Oh, Blondie. There we go, it's in my nose. There's my nose hairs. <laughs> Some people are that man a trimmer. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get some get those cleaned up. <laughs> so anyway, guys, that's the new that's the new camera. It is widescreen and all that sort of stuff. Should be easier and stuff like that for uh, shooting things around. <laughs> there we go. That was good. Uh, oh, I, okay. I think Blonde would have actually left the chat. I know. She's like, she's like, I'm done. Okay, let's go to top down. Let's start getting this build put together. I have a nose hair trimmer. I just don't use it. I'll get it. I'll get that squared. Plus, we all know. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna have to go and uh, take care of that now. We'll have to do judging of those every. Now I got nightmares. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Blondie's like, you really want to clip that? Does somebody really want to watch it over and over again? I'm proud of my nose hairs. I'm pro nose hair. Can we, yeah, can we get a pro nose hair, anti nose hair? We're starting a new war. I remember team sticker versus team nose sticker. Now it's team nose hair versus team no nose hair. Okay, here we go. Zoom in on our, zoom in on our build here. There, bam. Unsub Turdog, uh, you got to see it in 50 inches, dude. PC, uh, yeah, guys, maybe that's what I need to do. I need to stop and do a PC uh, USB nose hair trimmer. I feel like that's the right goal right there. Okay, here we go. Let's pop this open. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Okay, so popping this open, we're putting in our Ryzen 7 7800X3D. Uh, 77002, um, we haven't done, we've actually talked about doing the thermal pads. Um, so we are gonna do, there is some, there's a company who's releasing some new thermal paste. So we were gonna do a, we were actually going to do a comparison when that comes out. Um, so when that is, all, when that, so there is a video coming. Hey, hello from Alberta. Nice. I like Alberta. That's Alberta, Russia, right? No, I'm just kidding. Alberta, Canada, I'm assuming. Okay, CPU is in. A little pop there. <laughs> yeah, almost threw up my spaghetti meatballs. I'm glad that did not happen. I would feel bad if I ruined somebody's dinner. Okay, here we go, guys. Uh, Zeiston said 96. So we'll see. He's gonna he's gonna try and be nice today. He was saying 96. We'll see if we'll see if he's nice or not. This is G Skill, and G Skill can be pretty pre, uh, pretty loud. G Skill so gets very like. But we'll see. This is the all black version. Colors for today are gonna be black and orange. So, Tom saying 101. Well, we all know the bot's always wrong. Yeah, no, I, I, dude, we had Tom in the chat the other day. It was crazy. I know. Uh, Lewis, because uh, with the amount of builds I do, liquid metal is actually very hard to clean up afterwards. And there is a higher, higher than normal chance of actually um, damaging it. And for the differences in temperatures for gaming, uh, it really comes down to liquid metal is for people who really just want extreme, like they're really gonna dry and try and ink, try and ink the most out of it. But for most individuals, I would not recommend going to liquid metal for your cooling. All okay, right, here we go, guys. 
Is it 96? Oh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not where I'm normally at. Oh, that's, that was really bad. That was like very hard to push in. That was like 70. Let's try that again. This one's gonna do it. 96 exactly. Dude, I almost, we almost did not get that. Dude, woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Yeah. That was, uh, that was a, that was a, that was a close one, Zeiston. That was a close one. 96 almost didn't happen. It's closer than I thought it was going to be, actually. Yeah, me too. I really thought that was going to be a no-brainer. Rigged. It was not rigged. How do I rig it? I have no, I have like no, I have no dog in this fight. Well, of course it would be Tom who says rigged. <laughs> I have no, I have no qualms. No, no. I, I don't care which way it was. You know what I mean? It's like either way, it makes me he's happy. Like, he, he's like either way, I'm getting half your point, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, exactly. Okay, here we go. Throwing our 980 Pro. Like I said, I was trying to do, guys. We've created more variety, doing some more. I added more NVMEs. As much as I love Kingston, I was like, you know what? I need to start throwing some other options in here so i got some kingston some g skill we got we got so we're trying to create more variety in terms of the hardware you see sometimes uh oh dude of course i practice like two or three times a day uh 20 25 minutes a day just practicing ram clicks you know what i mean at least twice before bed right oh yeah totally right like if you really want to if you i mean if you're going to be a pro ram clicker i'm trying like they just added um they just, what did they, they added cheerleading to the Olympics. So I feel like I can get uh, Ram clicking into the Olympics for sure. Can we say Paris 2024 Ram click Olympics? Just saying. That's right. Uh, you it's, might have to push that to 2028. Okay, 2028. Org is right. It's like leg day. You don't skip leg day. Okay. Uh, the Flare X G skill? No, I just used the, I used Neo more than I used the, I used Neo uh, RAM over their Flare X. I have used Flare X. Flare X doesn't have RGB though. Who, yeah, that's actually a good point. Igor brings up a good question. Who got some rad Cyber Monday, Black Friday deals? Let's, let's hear what those awesome deals were. Yeah, we used the Flarex in that uh, smoked out Lee and Lee build. All right, so we have NVMe in, we have storage in, we have G Skill in, we have, where's my, there's my drink bottle. Okay, right. next up, let's back this out a little bit. It's time to do our, our big, our new cooler. Here we go, guys. New cooler. Their new one, the Dark Rock Elite. It's a 280 watt TDP. So this, this should be fine, right, Org? This should be able to cool it. And we've got, we've got the um, light wings, the 140 millimeter light wings for it. So that should get feed at lots of air. I think we're gonna be fine, guys. I think we're gonna, I think our temps are gonna be good. They Chef have knives. some very favorable reviews on the new coolers. Yeah. So it's I've been excited to finally get to check this out. And guess what, guys? It comes with a bright look at that. It comes with a be quiet screwdriver. How are you not excited about this? Why are you not buying it right now for the be quiet screwdriver? They really need to take this song out of this playlist. Dude, it's Christmas time. Do they have, I'm skipping this song. It drives me nuts that this song is still in here. They have a cyber, oh, here we go. Okay, we got Christmas music, guys. I don't know if this playlist is any good, but we're checking it out. All right, so checking this out here, like this little, this comes off. And then there's all the screws and stuff. Whoa. Okay, so there's the middle fan. 
Okay, check it out. Here's the middle fan, check it out. Look at that. So this is the, the middle fan is all shaped like and it's got some extra stuff in there to take out. So that's how the middle fan comes out and that's how the mounting mechanism is. And then the front fan is actually mounted permanently here. Okay, and it uses a small connection. And then, yeah, that's it. It's, it seems pretty straightforward. Okay, let's put this in here. Let's figure out how the mounting works here. Oh, we got some peels, by the way. Got some peels on this board I didn't do. Oops. There we go. That one's peeled. No. If you want to hear a click, when you start playing with the cooler, that front fan clicks when you move it up and down. Oh, wow, okay. Peel. I think I've got, those are the two peels. Okay, we got them, okay. Okay, let's take a look here. No, you can move it. You can move it. So here, let's go here. We'll go to side. So you can move it up and down. Right? Isn't that what you do? You can move it. Oh, yeah, it literally clicks. There you go. So you actually have like, it's on like a guide. So yeah, there you go. And then you, so you can choose different positions for RG, for uh, fan uh, RGB fitment, you know, for fan, for uh, uh, RAM and stuff. And then you can see here on the side, like you can see how the, how it works, right? So yeah, it should be pretty straightforward in terms of installation and stuff. How are we doing likes on YouTube guys? So there's AMD. Oh, it looks like likes were sitting at about 105. 105 likes, guys. Looking at the instructions here. Okay, pretty, I will say, I, I do remember, the one thing I do remember about, about um, be quiet for AM5, it's always easier than Intel. Which isn't always the case, but in this one it is. Okay, so let's grab our screwdriver. And here we go. First step, remove this. We're doing winter songs now, guys. Okay, top one. I could accept winter songs if we had winter weather. Uh, Minneapolis definitely did. You live in you live in Texas. When do you get hey, winter weather? It's it's been snowing here basically every year for the past few years. Okay. We get we get we get winter down here. Just not a lot of it. But you get some. We do get some. We we get more ice than anything. Yeah, you guys do. I but said, it's... that's good. That's good. Somebody says, I feel very festive. That was a point. Hey, Eric Troll King. Thank you very much for the tier three. You're amazing. Thank you very much. That Guys, that all helps. You guys are rock stars. Looks like about the time I leave for Atlanta, it's finally going to drop down into the, finally drop back down into the 30s at night. That sounds terrible. And what sounds wonderful. Yeah, we had, it, I will tell you, man, it was freaking cold in Minneapolis when we were like, w like when we got there it was actually pretty nice. And then it got, it got, it got cold. I, I follow the weather where my dad lives, which is about two and a half hours southwest of Minneapolis 
and it's been it's been getting pretty brutal. Yeah, yeah. It was like I was like I forgot how cold that really was. And I mean, I grew up in Vermont, you know what I mean, and stuff like I mean, I went to school in Vermont and stuff like that, and I was like I just forgot how cold that really was. Okay, so we got first one done. Okay, let's zoom in here. You can see a little bit better. It's quite that. It's actually kind of a cool view right there with like all the little stuff everywhere. Throw some thermal paste on there. You know, half these people don't realize too, though. I'm I'm the one who actually likes the cold. I don't normally wear long pants until it's you know, in the twenties. So you're like a true like cold in cold ingenue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I will wear long pants in the 30s if the wind's blowing, but that's a different kind of cold. Yeah, that's a... I agree, I agree. There we go, guys. Nice, good coverage of our Ryzen processor. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Well, if you came... If you went to Minneapolis, Blotty, you would... You'd be like, you'd be like that movie Cool Runnings. Like take, take her from like, take her to someplace cold. And I mean, you have cold in Alaska, in Arizona too. Cause like Flagstaff, it actually, you actually get all four seasons in Flagstaff. Flagstaff gets cold. Yeah. All right, there we go. Nice, straightforward, clean build there. And now we have clean. Okay, so we got that good. Let's go and get this last little bracket on now. Pretty straightforward. I like I like I like straightforward installation. Sometimes these used to be way crap. You're right, Igor. We do have 12 seasons. Unfortunately, 11 of them are summer. What are the other seasons? Summer. Still summer. Summer again. But I don't... That's not a new season. That's the no, same no, that, season. That, 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 that is a new season for the people here. Because we get... We get... False fall. We get faux fall. We get almost winter. Oh... You know, we've actually already been here in Dallas. We've already been down into the down into the mid twenties, but then like four days later, we shot back up into the eighties. So the question is, so it's funny. Lewis Kleeman says, "Hey, I would, I would uh, mask and use liquid metal." And I guess my question is, is if this this thing's not going to, it's not gonna, it's not gonna cap out under load. I doubt. Um, and then gaming temperatures are going to be in the 60s. So, I mean, why risk? Why risk liquid metal? I mean, if, if you're not an extreme, I mean, like, if you're, unless you were going to do something like extreme overclocking or something like that. Hey, Myard Media is here. What's up, guys? If you were, if you're going to do extreme, then maybe it makes sense. But what is it? Why risk it? That's the question. Liquid metal should not be used by anyone who is not afraid of destroying their parts period yeah hey kevy kevy on if you, depending on what your build is we could we could do it here on the show before christmas that is possible it just depends on what parts you need so you could reach out to me what's up electric yoshi how are you my man it's good to see you it's always good to see Electric Yoshi. Okay, so we're we took off the plastic, guys. Just so you know, confirmed. It's not on. Wow, they actually made that really easy to just sit there. I like it. Wow, that's really easy. Kudos, be quiet. That's very... I like the way, so the way they did it is they essentially have like a, it's almost like a lip. I'll, sh I'll zoom in. I'll show you. You know what? We'll show you with the new roaming camera. Okay, so here we go. Check this out. Let's go to roaming here. 
Oh, come on. What am I doing here? Okay, sorry. So the way they've done this, check this out. So there's almost like, it's almost like a little, see there's like a little lip. It goes over, it goes over, there it goes, it's focused now. So it goes over these clasps, making it really, e wow, can we, there you go. Make, it goes over these clasps, making it really easy for you to basically get this on. So it's really easy to mount this on here, right? It's like, it's, it's pretty straightforward the way the whole process works. Right, and it's just, it just basically just, it's like a little Lego piece. It just goes right on top of it. And then here you go, your fitment for your Ram, you know, your Ram, like we can push this down if we want to. So there we go, and it's right there on the top now. So it just clips right in there. And you actually have a lot of headroom for Ram. So if you had like that super tall uh, Corsair stuff, you could use that super car, cool, cool. I'm trying to see what this button does, sorry. You could use that super tall platinum if you wanted to, and you'd still have room for that stuff, but we'll get it right up against the edge. And you can even see, it's got a lot of room for basically air coverage. So it's definitely gonna get the co the coverage it needs from the fan, which is actually pretty neat. So anyway, pretty neat. I, I like, I'm, I'm impressed, like in terms of just the ease of installation and stuff like that. Uh, Sleeper G, uh, to be honest, they've all like, most of them like deep cool, um, be quiet, uh, and then like even like Cooler Master or, or Corsair, they've all developed it or they outsource and they actually use pretty good thermal paste. I only use Noctua NTH1 just because I like to show, I, 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 get, I get a kick out of doing it, but honestly, you're probably gonna see maybe a degree difference if you were gonna use the pre-applied stuff on most of the AIOs. Okay, here we go. Now we're gonna install our really cool this thing, you like the way I said that, are really cool this thing. This is called the other fan. I don't know why I called it a really cool this thing. And I, I can tell you, Roby, um, my H150i, I used the pre-applied thermal paste the first time on my 5900X. And then whenever I went to repaste, I used NTH2. And the temperature difference was one and a half yeah, yeah, it's like it's so. they they use they they they're using better thermal paste because they have to differentiate themselves, right? So, okay, we've done the peel. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this on. This is pretty straightforward. It just pops right over this. Really easy. and it clips, it literally clicks in. Okay, so now, this is why we got this other, this other camera here. So you guys can see stuff like this better. So now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on our, getting our cable management done here. So now we're just gonna get this connected up. Ooh, okay. There, okay, so this just clips in, just like this, it's just got a little clip. And then you have, all you have left after that is an RGB connection and a header. Now we have two RGB here, so what I can do is I can just plug this into CPU which is right there. Hey, Figment for Life, thank you for the gifted subs. So you can actually see, it's right here. So I've plugged it in, it's hard to see Get this. So, so it's right there. So it's in the gray connection right there. Sorry, so there, there it is right there. There's the, there is that one. And then we'll take this one and we'll just plug it in right here. And then now our connections are all done. There we go. Okay, so now all of our connections are done and we're good to go there. Okay, now let's get some cable management done. And what I have a tendency to do guys in this case is it's, you have plenty of room to tuck down here. So as long as you can just kind of get it like kind of zip tied together, you're fine. You may not even, like this one, you may not even just need to zip tie. Uh, 
I'm kind of jumping the gun here, but did you move the fan on the top of the case yet to the front? No, I actually have more fans. So we haven't gotten to the case yet. No, I'm not gonna drag it with me to, I'm not gonna drag that to DreamHack. That would actually too, be too hard. It'd be better just to ship it. Were you wanting to use it at DreamHack? Oh shoot. <laughs> when you, oh gosh. Guys, the, the zip tie doesn't wanna come out. <laughs> okay, here we go. I gotta get tweezers. The only thing I find odd about the case, which is overall very nice, is they installed two fans as, as exhaust by default. So moving the top one to the front so you have two intakes is about all you have to do with it. Yeah. Okay, got that out. First, speaking of that, guys, that is the first... That's the first zip tie, so you can get your zip tie prediction in. Zip tie man, zip tie man, guess the count of them if you can. Even Zars, who can know? Make your wagers on every show. Hey now, Roby's the zip tie man. Okay guys, zip tie count you can get into. Yeah, I mean, you're right. Uh, or you don't have to do a whole, you, that's about the only thing you'd have to do. But we're gonna use, we're gonna, we're gonna throw some RGB in there. And the one thing I love about their Lightwings fans is they're kind of like the NZXTs in the fact that their fans, you have an RGB around the blades so they don't, they don't actually lose performance. That's why I was surprised you didn't buy the FX case to begin with. I didn't buy it, they sent it to me. Well, you know what I mean. Yeah. The FX case comes with them. Yep, four fans. Keep getting my... There we go, okay, so that gets that, and then we're just gonna push this into here. Okay, so there we go. That's the, the, the cooler is now installed. We got those all hidden nicely, so you can't see them. So if you go to top down, there is our cooler ready to go. Okay, now we can go to case. Oh, Yeon, Ye he says I have the the I have the FX version on my on my uh, part picker. They're in a very nice case. You can do a 420 AIO too. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, here we go, guys. Speaking of awesome cases, it's time to grab our case now, get it prepped. But there is our motherboard with everything it needs. I'm excited to see what performance is like on this, thermal performance is like on that. It's gonna be good. Okay, here we go, case time. <clears throat> Okay, so first thing we're gonna do, let's go to side here. Are you guys, uh, so what do you guys think of the new camera? We getting some other recommendations. We might try out some other ones to see if it looks better. Silky, thank you very much for the resub. You guys enjoying the new camera still? Trying to give you guys all the angles on uh, for uh, stuff. Okay, and then check out this, this filter. This, there's the dust filter, nice dust filter the camera is great as long as it doesn't go up your nose okay so more up your nose cam okay got it great gs tickle stick i love that name thank you very much for the resub with prime my man 18 months okay and we'll do a stretch real quick Ugh. Ugh. 
Okay, so we got that, that's off. Let's pull off our front. This is what he was talking about. You'll see it here in a minute. Wow, look at the side. Okay, that, dude, that comes off easily. Beautiful. And then you've got these. Look at that, look at that dust filter. That's crazy. And then this is what he's talking about. On this version of the case, you get a single, man, that rail is solid. Single 140 millimeter fan. And then in the back, you get a single 140 millimeter fan. And at the top, you get a 120 millimeter fan. And that's kind of it. Oh no, man, that's a 142. So you get three 140s, but really what you would do is you'd remove this and pop it into the front. What we're gonna do is we're actually gonna replace all of the fans in this K, uh, all the front fans with 140s. And then we're gonna actually keep, I could, yeah, there's no, oh, and then this has got some, this actually there's, if you look at the bottom here, this right here, this is actually like a, here, let me use my ro my roaming camera because that's just gonna be too hard to see. So grab the roaming camera here. So if you look at this, there's, you can see these are actually, it's almost like a, um, it's angled. So the air that's coming through here is still getting pulled up. You can't mount a fan down at the bottom, it looks like, or anything like that. But um, again, a little bit of an angled fan holder thing so you can actually, uh, you can actually blow, it's, it's gonna angle some air up into the GPU that's coming from this bottom 140 millimeter fan. So not quite like the NZXT uh, H5 Flow, but you know, it's, it's got a similar design. So we're moving back into the era of louvers, huh? Yeah, exactly. They say that time repeats itself. Okay, so let's pull the back off. I mean, this, 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 de this definitely has like an older style case feel to it just in how the materials and stuff are, but the uh, screws and stuff for it are actually pretty straightforward. So looking at to it, they are captive, so they just pop, they, they don't come out, which is nice. But I mean, it's got like that, oh, and then there you go. There's that thick, be quiet padding to keep things quiet. I was gonna say, it looks super, super sturdy. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's definitely heavy. And then again, you have probably a good inch of space for cable management when you look at this, so you have a good inch, which is a good amount. So if you have warts and stuff like that, I don't think you're gonna have much of an issue here. So let's uh, loosen this up. <laughs> Ruruchi's got a point. What's next, wood on PC cases? What? No, that would be crazy. They'd never do that. Coming in 2024. Oh, wait. Okay. Now I'm starting to think, like, my question is, is like, you know, we're here, and obviously we're doing a Be Quiet build right now, but my question starts to become is like, what the hell, what the heck is Lee and Lee gonna do with 011s anymore? You know what I mean? It kind of feels like they've done everything, and yet they still seem to find stuff uh, to do with their 011. Okay, so there is no, you it, kind of a bummer, you can't remove the install, like to, you can't remove the the front to do uh, fan installation. So that's kind of a little bit painful. And yeah, we've all gotten spoiled with that one over the past. Yeah, that's, that's actually a really nice uh, addition here. Okay, so let's go to this. Go to the roaming cam here so you guys can see a little bit better. Well, after the fact, you can still hold the fan from back, so you get getting just more space from the front. Yeah, I just wish they would have done a way to, to load it up, you know? Okay, got that. But even, like, see, like this, like this, this to get to this fan is not like to get to the screw for this fan is actually really hard with this, with this. Uh... You should be able to pop off that arm. Yeah. It's just an extra step, you know what I mean? Okay, so we got, so like, yeah, I was trying to get to this one, but I'm gonna have to, now I'm gonna have to figure out how to pop this arm off here.
this pops out here. Okay, oh. YouTube chat saying there's one screw in the back. Okay, I'm looking for it. So it's hidden behind the cables. Oh, there it is. Okay, yeah, there it is. Okay, guys, up at the top here. There we go. Okay, now... This should just be as simple as just literally take, yeah, that just pops right off. Just pops right off and comes out. So now you have more room, straightforward there. And then now I can continue to do my band stuff here. Okay, cool. And while those aren't deep, those those uh, recesses they have in the case are pretty nice. Yeah, this is interesting. Like in terms of, I don't know what this is for. Like it almost gives you like another. Oh, for SSDs. SSDs. Yeah, so you can mount SSDs right there, and then you can you can hide your hide your uh, hide your cable routing. Okay, let's go to rear here. Let's pull our cable here. They give you lots of tie downs. Oh, 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 please don't. Okay, it goes right there. I was like, where's the. There it is, okay. I mean, again, very well cable managed. Still have to get, wow, just to remove this, I'm still trying to get enough of this undone so I can uh, remove the fan. There we go. Okay, finally got to this. That was a lot of work to remove that fan. Okay, there we go. One fan out. And they are Pure Wings 3 fans, which are good fans. Okay, so that takes care of that. Remove this one. Oh, actually, no, this one I'm gonna keep. I, I, I didn't get enough light wings fans, but I am gonna remove this top one here. So we'll go to uh, side camera here and remove the, actually we can go to, yeah, you guys should be able to see that. Uh, I can try top here. So we can move this one again. You actually have a lot of room up top for AIO. How are we doing likes on YouTube, by the way? Saw some, some people being reminded. Uh, we're currently sitting at uh, 151. Okay, guys, almost there, only 100 left. Okay, so that takes care of that. It's like a nice twisty tie thing here in the back. There we go. All right, so there's all of our, the fans we are gonna remove are out now.
Okay, now what we're gonna do, guys. Got RGB fans. That's where all the fun is. Show me the light. Yeah, show you the light. I don't think I really need any more, but show no, me you anymore. in your build now. Where is my? Now it's time to find the knife. What did I do with my knife? Obviously open stuff with it. It's black. Now well, back to the dig. What do I do with my knife? Try and get this one open. Just have to make sure not to accidentally click on the up the nose cam. Okay, I got that one open, but I can't, still don't know what I did with it. Riddick, thank you very much for the tier three sub. 26 months. How did our subs go down? Okay, so you do have an ARGB hub that comes with these fans. There we go. Oh, it comes with three. Oh, guys, this is actually crazy. So, you actually get three fans, so we actually have enough fans for all. We can actually do a rear RGB fan. I was, I, guys, I never, like, huge shout out to Be Quiet, because I never get, every time you get a 140, you always get only a pack of two, I mean a pack of two. So this is like a pack of three. So now I can actually replace the rear fan. Huge, wow, that's awesome. That's a good value right there. I don't know what the, the price difference is, but still, I'm very happy to actually see it come with three fans. I just appreciate that, that's all. Uh, you know what, Zeiston? I didn't use it. It's, I found it. It was in the hall. I didn't use it on at all. So you would have been looking oh, forever. Uh, I was going to say, I'm pretty sure I just went through every spot where it needed to be, and I didn't see it. So. I found it. I found it. Okay. So now we have all the three. We have three, we have all the fans we need, including, and we have, and we have our knife, which is good. Let's get all our fans out. There we go. Ice and D just subscribed with Prime. Thank you very much for the Prime subs, you guys. So what I'm doing right now is just getting all the stuff done. Oh, Bison D, thank you very much for the sub. Getting all of our, oh, and they do, oh, they also daisy chain. That's cool. Appreciate that. I'm 
Not, not that I may not need to do that. We'll see what the ARGB hub does. Thanks for motivating me to build a new, it was worth going with the Win 11 over 10 now. Um, I would say Win 11 at this point in time. I don't think going with 10 actually does you much good anymore. I think I need to add the sub thing to the roaming cam, guys. I think it's messing up our sub counts. There we go. Okay, so there's all of our stuff. This is, wow, it's not supposed to be this hard. Sorry, guys. Just got to, I don't do this now. Bittersweet84 just subscribed to Tier 1. Thank you, Bittersweet. Yeah, I got it. Okay, cool. Now we have all our fans. Okay, whoo. That was a lot of work. Let's just get our front fans mounted and then we'll worry about the rest here in a bit. And we're doing 140 millimeters just to make sure. And I don't know, uh, Tom, we, we're we using light wing, we're using one pack, total of four light wing threes. Sorry, just as an FYI. One pack and a, four, and a, sing, a single pack and a three pack. But if you wanted to do this on the cheap and really keep it around the $1,800 budget, you could, like Org was suggesting, literally just move, move the um, top fan to the front and then you would be fine. Um, you know he did it on purpose, he just wanted to see you rage. Yep, that was my. It was, I want to see Tom rage. Yeah, the bot just raging against the machine. Okay, one in. I'm actually excited to see how this build turns out. Okay. Grab our screwdriver. There we go. Okay, that's in. Once these go in, the rest of it's, guys, we already have the, I mean, essentially because of air cooling, like this is like the longest part of this, this, this install here. The cordless screwdriver is called the Wow Stick, and it is uh, it is a crowd favorite. And there we go. Now we're just gonna put in the screw the bottom in. There we go. Of our front. Uh, Tom, those are 140s.
There you go. Now we're just gonna finish out the Getting these all kind of in there for the cabling. Okay, cool. Well, we might have to move these up now that I'm looking at it. I might have, I don't know, we'll have to see. Let's we'll see once I get it done. Hey, we got a tricks for Trey in chat and he just subscribed with Prime. Hey, what's up, Trey? How are you? Here we go. Your head hurts. Why is your head hurt, Ion? Yeah, we're doing the stream today just because of we 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 weirdness. Lots of travel this week. Okay, two more screws. Then we'll get to motherboard and all that fun stuff. Okay, that looks good. It can actually be a little bit easier to do this this way. There we go. No, nope, that was the right call. Hopefully to do them that way. That gives it a nice full fullness there. No, well, it's actually not even, it needs to go lower. <laughs> I was not expecting that. So these actually need to, this needs to go down even more. It's like just enough room for 140 millimeter fans. Now is I'm just loosening all of the screws. So these fans will slide down. To get that perfect fit. Okay, and then I should be able to. There we go. There we go. Okay. They're in the right place now, and then I'll tighten the rest of the fans down.
Will this be able to run Fortnite? Yeah, at like 340 or four, actually almost, yeah, 340 plus frames per second. Fortnite is not that demanding of a game. What was what was the placement that Turdog was talking about? Oh, Place he was he was com he was had a gripe about uh, motherboard manufacturers putting almost all their RGB ARGB connectors at the bottom of the motherboard. A lot of them now put them up in the top right too, like especially on modern day boards. Gene, yeah, a Star Citizen, nothing runs Star Citizen. Though I did watch their new engine demo. That game looks, I mean, the new engine demo was impressive. But I mean, they can hardly, they can hardly, they can hardly manage their game. I just don't know how they expect to manage like support for, uh, support for, uh, um, other developers who are using their uh, using their engine, you know what I'm saying? That seems like that seems risque, in my opinion. Oh, they'll just pull up Bethesda and hope that modders handle their game so they can work on just the engine. Oh, this top cabling is not very impressive. It's like they. They didn't want it to be, okay. I'm gonna fix this top cabling and then run it down more. So it's not a, not a way I normally would put a case, but I'm gonna show you guys what I'm working on here. So this cabling is like super, Let me try and get it cleaner. It's like super loose. Like I said, this is always like, this is like next level details right here when somebody's like looking at the top of their case. But the thing is, if there's any cables that are visible, I want them to be clean, you know? It's just a shame that there's one down there that's got ketchup and mustard on it. Yeah. It's up though. I mean, like it'll be up at the top, but yeah. It's unfortunate it's visible at all. Ketchup, mustard, and blueberry, blueberry Kool-Aid too. Okay, so we got those clean now. Okay, so that's clean. Now up at the top back here. So we ended up with like a little bit some extra cabling that was like this one of these cables is extra long. What cable is this? Well, one of these cables, whatever this is, is longer than the other ones. Okay, well I can tighten this down now.
is tightening this B quiet down. And then we can do our, we'll work on our Work on our MOBO after this, guys. There we go. Okay. Okay, now we have that. Let's check out the ARGB system that they have here. Oh, that's weird that this is like not up here. Okay, let's go to top down. Okay, that's to the AI, that's to the, uh, this top left RGB is actually to the, the front of the case. Okay, so let's look at our ARGB hub. This is the ARGB hub for the fans. It's got all the mounting, we'll need one of those. So this actually supports So you could actually I feel like this would I don't know if that's a, the best spot for it though. So it's like, it's just six LED connectors, which is kind of nice. There we go. Nice guide for it, which is actually kind of cool. Makes it really easy to plug in. Well, maybe not. Maybe it doesn't. Oh, there we go. There we go. Well, I want this back up at the top, though. Didn't you learn from the last build about speaking too soon. Yeah, I know. I was like, oh, this is cool, but no, it actually is. It does work. Okay, I just got to push a little harder. Okay, okay. It works, it works. Because we know what happened the last time, so. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that's, that's fair. That's fair. All right, so we have... These are pretty long, so it feels like if I do, I, th I feel like the rear fan, if I mount this like right here, I feel like the rear fan would actually be fine. This almost looks like it would mount. How special would that be if it mounted to an SSD location? That would be pretty nice, actually. As long, uh, what's the thickness like on that hub? I don't know, it looks like it lines up. It's pretty thin. And it's got, they actually have screws for it. So we're gonna try this, guys. We're gonna mount this to this location. We're exploring together. What's interesting is they include the hub, but the fans do have a chaining five volt connector on them, so you don't have to use the hub. Yeah, I'm just gonna use the hub because it's a little bit, because I have it, you, you're all right. The hub's nice though, because it's six. Yeah. And I'm gonna mount it backwards. I actually can't tell if the hub works or not. I can't, I can't, it doesn't, I can't quite tell. Maybe, we'll find out here real quick. Other than that, you might need to grab a splitter for the PWM. I see five fan headers and a 
extra for the pumps, but one of them is right above the GPU. Nope, it does work, guys. Confirmed. Makes it easy to mount. There we go. So now we actually were able to mount the fan hub right here. You could have mounted it in other places too, but this actually works really well. There we go. Okay, fan hub mounted. Okay, let's get this kind of cleaned up real quick and then once this is done, all basically all of our fans are done. I mean, the hard part of our fans, anyway. RGB is always the hard part. And if you wanted to add, the one thing that's nice about the way that I'm doing this is that if you wanted to daisy chain something else into it, you could. What is this? Okay, there we go, guys. It can it comes with the fans. It comes with the fan hub. It comes with the uh, the three pack, and it's a nice. It actually is a really impressive for having six doing six fans. It's actually pretty nice. Takes a little bit of patience, but and what we're doing right here is just controlling, like getting all of the kind of smaller.
There we go. And this one we can just treat a little bit different because it's like its own. So we'll just make this like a longer. Like that. Just a little bit of time and effort and pee, you know, just forethought and you can really add to the look of a bill just by taking your time. All I really want to do is just make it look clean. There we go. Okay. There's all our RGB from the three fans controlled. Okay, I'm gonna follow Mr. Uh, Mr. Org's advice, go grab a three splitter for our fans at the front. And then that takes care of this. This is like kind of the longest part, guys, is just a little bit of cable management around the ARGB fans. Fortunately, they haven't, the German engineering hasn't turned into um, daisy, you know, like nice, like magnetized fans or anything like that. I think everybody's on edge as they're waiting for the Fantex versus Lee and Lee kind of whole thing to kind of shape out. Okay, so this, what we're gonna do is we'll probably just run this straight down here and then run our fan splitter from there. Okay, so let's grab our little fault, small zip ties here. Again, just keeping it clean, guys. Just a little bit of patience as we work on this this little this little bit of uh, cable management. But in the end, it just makes the back and the, the whole build just look that much better. There we go. And what we'll do is we'll just take this, just like that. There we go. Hey, Pig Radio, what's up, what's up, dude? Now we have a nice clean, nice clean runway here from all of our fans and all that stuff. Looks good. Probably just to make a little bit, little, little bit more clean here. Let's do a couple zip ties around this since these are going to stay together, and then we'll be we can move on to the Mobo finally. There we go, guys. Let me grab a three splitter, and then we'll we're, uh, we'll be able to put in our mobo.
Okay. Last little bit of this here. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. There we go. And then what I want to do is pull this straight so they're even. Okay, now we have a nice, easy, even screw of smoke. Dropping gifted subs. Keeping, uh, keeping uh, pig radio appropriately subscribed. Okay guys, that's it. That's all my, my dangling connections from the front fans. They now and a nice clean cable connection set. And then Okay. Oh, that's what that is. RGB. And I forgot there is actually a cover here, so you won't see any of that. One thing I can do, just to make things easy, disconnect this, is take our RGB here, which they have so lovingly given me. He's so nice to you, pig. It's like people like you, buddy. Okay, so there we go, and then we'll just do this. There we go. Okay, cool. Now I can reseal this up and it's still nice and tight because I don't think I won't be putting anything else in this, I don't think, anyway. I could be wrong. Could be doing this too soon, but we'll find out. Okay. Now almost all our RGB is all controlled by the Almost all our RGB is now controlled by the light box, which is good. Okay, guys, we are ready to put in our MOBO. It's 6.06, it took us a lot of time to get everything kind of out and ready and controlled, but man, it looks, it looks good. There you go, so that's how it looks. Compared to what the mess it was, was it looks nice and clean, right? It looks it looks uh, good enough to be German engineered. That's that's my goal. And then even the top looks nice and clean now. Here we go. 
Time to throw it into the build. There we go. Yeah, cable's looking very quiet. This is a beautiful cooler though. And it's got RGB. Uh, oh yeah, let's talk about parts. You guys wanna see the parts? Here we go right here. So what are we using inside this build for $1,800? We've got the AMD Ryzen 7 7800X 3D, Asus Tough Gaming B650 Plus Wi-Fi, Asus Tough Radeon RX 7800 XT, uh, the Samsung 980, we got a two terabyte NVMe drive there. Uh, for our uh, RAM, we're using G-Skill Triton Z5 Neo RGB, 32 gigs at 6,000 mega transfer. Uh, for our uh, case, we're using the Be Quiet Shadow Base 800DX, for the cooler, the Be Quiet Dark Rock Elite cooler, their brand new AI air cooler, and then the Be Quiet Pure Power 12M 850W 80 plus gold PSU. So, well, it is better, Nicola. Are you doing more than just gaming with it, or are you are you doing gaming and uh, something else? Oops, no, that didn't work. Da -da. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -da -da. So 5800X 3D would be the better choice if you were gonna upgrade, Nicola. Ba -da -ba -ba -da 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 -da. Hey, Blade of Ice, thank you very much for the tier three. Getting our, oops, sorry guys. Yeah, we're in holiday music now. What the, nope, these are not the right screws. I got tricked again, guys. Oops. I think it might be these. Okay, just so you guys know, for a Be Quiet board, it's a very different screw. It is a has a hex nut to it, hex top versus the usual lip, so it's not a it's not the normal screw that you see with motherboards. It drives me bonkers when they do that. Some came out, the rest of them did not. Okay, good. Makes it easy for me to find them now. That's usually a good sign of praise when they throw it into their own rig, you know what I'm saying?
Okay, getting it in there. There we go, one more, guys. Okay, motherboard's in. That's awesome. I like it, it's easy, it's surreal. We can celebrate. That's right, mostly Martinez. Makes me smile. Riddick, what did you say? Did you say you were gonna use that? Is that the build you were planning on taking to to um, Atlanta? Okay, what do I gotta do? I'm trying to think. Oh yeah, okay. So you, I might be able to ship it to Atlanta. I mean, but I mean, like, I like I don't have a way to get it, like fly with it. Yeah, back fan, thank you. Thank you for figuring that out for me. I left one, did I leave one bag out of fan screws like I said I was going to, or was I a moron? Guys, I think it was a moron. I don't know, it's up to him if he wants me to buy my own seat. That just would be hard to fly with. Well, I'm trying to think of what's the best thing to do. You let me know. We can. I could ship it to you and you could Pelican case it up now, which is fine, right? I could just bring the other GPU with me when I come. What's up, Zeisten? Welcome back. Okay, what I'm looking at here, guys. Oop, you guys get a bad, terrible view. I'm gonna fix something real quick. Whoa, that's a great view of whatever that is, okay. Okay, so now what I'm working on right here is just trying to figure out how I'm gonna route this. I think there might be like a... You made some pretty good progress while I was gone. Yep, we finally got the uh, got all the cable management squared away, which was the little bit time consuming, but it makes for the rest of the build to go pretty smooth now. Just wanna make sure all of our fan cables are trapped. You want no fan cables popping out here.
There we go. No, not with the, I don't really, I don't think I need one. I mean, those 140 should feed this fine. I don't, I don't think adding, out of top fan's not gonna do anything. Okay, what do we got for mounting up here? Like a little nub. I don't know what that nub is for, but there's a nub. So I'm gonna zip tie this right over here in the corner just to make it straight. Oh shoot, that is, dang. It's not long enough. That cable, oh wait, no, no, I may be fine. Yep, it's fine, I'll just run it up. Okay, it's fine, I'll just run it to the MOBO, it's okay. Okay, so that takes care of securing that down. Okay, now we can do all our front panel connections, guys. And all of our cable connections. Okay, so. Okay, let's start at the bottom here. So first one we have is HD audio. So that's going in the far left here. Right there, there's our HD audio. So basically what I did is I essentially, it's this cable right here. It's this cable right here, it's just routing into this hole and then it comes around and it connects right there. So here is our front panel connectors. We're literally just gonna take these and we're just gonna route them up like this. We'll just route those up through here. And there we go, those are gonna sit right there. And then let's see what else we got here. We have USB 3.2 and USB-C. So those are both right here on the MOBO. Okay, so let's now, what we're gonna do, hook up our front panel connections real quick. They're the easy ones, so it's power plus and minus and then plower. Plower. Power, plower, power, plower. Okay, so just showing you again, that's how it's hooked up, power plus and minus. So you have plus, minus, and then power LED. And they go right here on the, where I'm at, right? And so they're, they're just right there at the top and then that's all there is to it.
I think the only thing left that we got to do here is we need it. We have a fan connection. It's going to go right here. So this is our fan. That's all of our front panel fans. What we're going to want to do is probably just have cables looking like they're just coming straight out of the bottom. And then now what I want to do is I want to put this back on. There we go. So I just want to make sure that you can't see like what I can see and what I can't see. So I'll just need to be really tight about bringing those in there so you can't see them there. Okay, so USB 3.2. There we go. Or sorry, USB 3, or uh, sorry, USB, not USB 3.2. And then this one, same dealio. And come around up top. go. Nice clean look there. Is that plugged in? Yep. Okay. That's all plugged in. Yeah, PSW just subscribed with tier one. Hey, Cappy, thank you very much for the sub. Okay, guys, build is pretty close to, we have all of our cables already run. I'm just gonna take care of the bottom here of these few cables. I gotta run, sorry, actually I got two more cables to run. Got two, I got a top one. Which is like our, go to side here. And looks like we're sitting at 209 of 250 likes on YouTube. There's that. And then we have a RGB. Okay, so that's, in terms of cable management, there's not a whole lot left to do, guys. Okay, here we go.
There we go, okay. So that takes care of that. This is like, this is like the world's longest. So what we're doing right now is just look like creating a trail of the cables that are left. This is to create that beautiful like 90 degrees with each one of the cables down below and get it out of the way of the, the PSU. We're getting there, guys. You guys are killing it on all the goals, too. Okay. Oh, we have one more RGB, ha <laughs> ha. Glad I found that, okay. Almost forgot an RGB, guys. That would have been a criminal offense. Let's see where this and, is. And it is 100% illegal, that's like 25 to life. Yeah, exactly. Okay, one RGB left. This plugs in right here. There we go. Okay, there we go, guys. Now all of our connections are in. That's how the build looks, nice and clean. Just got some little RGB, we got some little uh, power things to deal with, but that's easy, that's part of our power supply. Let's go ahead and get our cables in, our GPU in, and then the build's done. Like, it's actually in really, really good shape. There's not a whole lot more to do. I do need to tighten up, I do need to put some cable combs around some things up here just to make sure they're not visible from the other side. We're gonna 
Rescrew this in. This way. Now this is just to keep this on this side is what we're doing. So you can't see it from the front. So there you go, guys. There is the build as it stands. All we gotta do now is some cable management. I mean, sorry, some, uh, some cable extensions and our GPU and we're done. So let's go ahead and throw in our top cable, ext cable extensions and then we'll finish out this build. And Justin Jam 80 just subscribed with Prime. Oh, thank you, Justin Jam. Oh, it was a zip tie trying to hide, guys. But I found it. He didn't, didn't, didn't want to be trimmed. Yeah, I was like, I don't want to be counted. But don't worry, we found it. I'm Justice not just will a prevail. number. This is the uh, this is the Dark Rock Elite. Yes, the new Dark Rock Elite. Very dark in there. Yeah, it's very dark in this dark rock. I'm not gonna help it all by using black cable extensions. Okay, here we go. So we want it right side. I just don't want to make the same mistake. Those are both great cards. The question you have to ask yourself is how much do you care about ray tracing? If you don't, then a 7800 XT might be a better choice and you're gonna get a better car, better, probably better, you're gonna spend less. If you care a lot about ray tracing in single player games, then NVIDIA might be a better option for you. I was literally just typing all of that out. <laughs> I will tell you for folks who are going, it depends on, here's my thing. Ray tracing, believe it or not, like in terms of creating more realistic scenes, understand the difference between rasterization and ray tracing, is ray tracing is making more natural light scenes. Rasterization means an artist, and more companies and more developers are going to ray tracing because of how it looks. So I know people say I don't care at all about ray tracing, but ray tracing is the future. And so ray tracing capability is something you should definitely keep in mind. It will be more of the future in games, like especially in, single player titles and you know what i mean it's like ray tracing relies a lot less on artist skills um and looks better with less work so just something to be aware of right because i think a lot of people when they think about rasterization they think rasterization means raw actually no rasterization is how lighting used to be done as well so Araxis, and you're absolutely right. I'm just saying that it is the future because 
ray tracing, ray tracing will be how artists light scenes in games. It is just more natural and requires far less work on the artist's part. I'm not saying that they, that doesn't mean the implementation can't be bad. I mean, I've seen modern games that look terrible too, right? Tell them. Twelve gigs of VRAM is shh. Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna let Org chime in on that. Twelve is fine for pretty much everything going on right now, except for you know, under 4K instances, which is not a 4K card. You can see higher VRAM usage, so that's where the 4080 comes in on, or another model from AMD like the 7900 XTX. Yeah, I, that's Rax. That's my only point. I just want to make sure that when you when we talk about this, you you hear all sides. I'm not telling you, and the, I you know in, in multiplayer games, especially if you're a heavy multiplayer player, this is not going to be something you have to worry about anytime soon. You know. But if you love single player titles, it's just something to be aware of because it will matter a whole lot more in single player games. There's some longevity issues you might look into, like the 3060 is looking like a better card now than what it used to look like, but it's 12 gigabytes. Well, I mean, again, if you're getting a 3060, you might as well just do a 7800 because it's the same like you're like gen for gen ray tracing capability at that point in time though you have dlss but because it's like their their second gen versus you know nvidia's i mean their second gen and amd's second gen is now well i'd say compared to the 7800 xt it went that wins because it's much more powerful but the 3060 is like half the cost yeah yeah, yeah. true 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 um i, I jumping a 3080 to a four like again it comes down to it comes down to the game somebody says hey should i upgrade to 40 series is something not good enough with what you're running because if the answer is no then no you shouldn't spend the money it really comes down to Upgrading isn't something that's a necessity. It's a necessity when something that you're doing or something you're using isn't giving you what you need. Does that make sense? That's when you make the decision to upgrade. Okay, I'm just looking at this to get the what I'm working on here, guys, is what I need to do to get my right angle here with the my cable extensions, which is super important to me. You guys see me fuss with this a lot. See how that looks. Looks good. Nice and clean. That's what we want, guys. 
There we go, nice clean look there, right there. I mean, it's very black, but it looks, it, I mean, we light it all up and everything, it should, it'll, it'll highlight a little bit better. Okay. There we go. I think two should be fine here. There we go. Now we just pull this through. Okay, now I just need another zip tie. Okay guys, we're on to GPU, that's it. GPU and PSU and then this build is done. And we'll do our sponsors, our deals and call it a, call it a day. Tim, I mean Tom, did we do deals today? I didn't remember. Oh, no, no deals, okay, it's okay. We still have the other sponsor. I still have one more sponsor. There's just two. All good, you're fine, you're fine. We'll just talk about CDK and V, because Be Quiet did sponsor this, but we started to do VIP slash CDK deals too. You're fine, this, you're fine. This is where you tell them, wait, Tom, I told you three hours ago. Come on, you got Tom, five minutes now. to get it done. That's like getting Tom all wound up. Okay, guys, the whole back is done. Now we just need to do our GPU. Hey, Jill Rods, thank you very much. Jill Rods, thank you very much for the sub. Okay, here's the back. I just wanna show you guys what I did. That is a long time, GL Rods, that is. So what we did is we just basically trapped this down here and then all the last one is just coming here right here to make it, it's 90 degrees, so we'll connect. So for our PSU, all we have is two of these and these two and then whatever comes out of the GPU, which will come down from the bottom. So it's nice and clean, I'd say. Okay, now we gotta grab our GPU, 7800 XT. We didn't talk about the cooler much, but there's a plate over the cooler which you can remove. And there's a switch underneath at the bottom which turns it to a quiet mode. But oh, for yeah. your best temps, keep it on performance. Yeah, which is what we have it set to right now. So what he's saying is, is that you can actually just, well, now it's all cable managed in, but this actually does come off, right? And then there's a plate. And then all you have to do is remove that plate and then you can switch right here. There's quiet and there's performance. And then you can just pop it back on. And it's easy to get to you. Like you don't have to do anything else. So, and that's magnetic. Thank you for pointing that out, uh, 
org. Okay, so we just gotta remove two screws. Studio is asking you in chat, Roby, what's the best AIO for a AMD Ryzen 9 7950X 3D? It depends on that. It's budget. Budget is always, I mean, again, if you really want something awesome, a 420 millimeter AIO, so like the Thermal Take is a good one. Um, the uh, new uh, IQ Link H170i uh, is great performing. Uh, if you're going to 360, um, the, any of the ROG, the, the, the ROG and the EK water block are both fantastic. And then even the Deep Cool, if you want to save money, the Deep Cool LS720 um, is like a great budget option. Yep. So it really, it's like getting an AIO is kind of a personal choice. Obviously, the 7950X can really stretch its wing with a 420 millimeter AIO. You have a lot of things you can do with it at that point in time, but a 360 is fine too. Okay, here we go, guys. Our very smallish. I know we're used to like giant, cool, uh, giant GPUs, but this one's not too bad. <laughs> Much more reasonable. Only, only two eight pens, what even is that? I know. I feel like I'm letting you down by not using giant GPUs. I'll be honest, man, I don't like using 4090s so much right now. I mean, we have a couple, we have a couple commissions that have 4090s in them, but they're so hard to get. And they're gonna get harder. CES cannot come soon enough if everything goes well. And we'll get the supers, the 4080 or the 4080 Ti, which is, I think, what we really need from NVIDIA. Do we have enough height here? There we go. Make sure that stays straight. No, it actually, so like the, the and maybe, or you've read a little bit more into this, it has something to do with shipments to China, right? Like, isn't it something like that? Like that's been the issue? The 4090? Yeah. So they wanted to rush all of them over so they could get as many in as possible. GPU stands for Graphics Processing Unit. Yeah, it was basically, yeah, it was the embargo of 4090s to China. So China basically ordered a crap ton. And it's like, it's just wreaked havoc to get them here in the US. Yeah, I like the one that comes with the tough, the tough and the, the Strix cards. Oops. Lego coin, it's supposed to be the 50 series. There's been a lot of rumors, but it's so far out. We're talking next year, ne not next year, the year after, early January, you know what I mean? Or as late as late next year is usually when we'll see an announce of whatever it is, but it's, it's, it's so, it's so, 
early, like trusting anything that's coming out of that is just not stuff worth believing. Heck, it's hard to believe the stuff that's coming out about supers and TIs and everything else. Okay, let's get the first. The key here, guys, is to make these stay even. It's always the hardest part of these particular extensions. One of the things I love about the uh, Cable mods. Guys, we're 10 subs away from 50. I can give away a $50 new gift card. Uh, I don't think so, Raxness. I think I, I think the 4090 will stay the top end for this gen. I think, I think the next one will be, yeah. I mean, not, nobody's even trying. Unless there's some huge surprise about Battle Mage. Wouldn't that be a surprise? I think we'd all blow our minds. Okay, here we go. Okay, now we just gotta make it look pretty, guys. Working on now is just making this bottom look right. Lock it in. There we go. There we go, that looks nice and clean, even.
Guys, this is actually turning out to be a very nice looking build. Like I didn't know what to expect, you know, cause it's always new to build in some new case, but I have to say guys, this is coming out very, very clean. Like nice lines, very straightforward and not, not too painful to build in. Um, very easy to build in this case so far, right? Um, so really enjoying the build experience. And then at the same time, lots of room for cable management and I'm taking my time. It, it'll have some RGB. Don't get me wrong. There is RGB in here. We have light, we have the fan, we have the, the RGB fans, but yeah, there's not a lot. Okay. But it is pretty dark. Okay, go to top down. So easy to install the, easy to install the PSU because it's one of those framed ones, which is nice. Now I love their, their, their PSUs are pretty. What we haven't, no, I haven't smelled it. So I don't know how this is going to taste. I mean, how it's going to smell. Sorry, not taste. Licking time, exactly, Lego coin. There we go. Very small case, very small box. So there we go, we get some, right away we get some, uh, some of Justin's favorite toys the zip ties we'll keep those actually use those again much simpler uh, much simpler packaging than most PSUs okay let's see how this smells not so bad not too stinky low on the stink level I have to say very inexpensive packaging in terms of just, uh, you know, comparatively like NZXT and some of the higher end packaging for PSUs, this is very simple. Which I mean, nowadays, I'm, doesn't surprise me given what people are all about right now, the economy is all about budget and affordability and so spending extra money on packaging is just just does does nobody no good all okay. right what do we got here i need one of these Need a CPU. Need my MOBO. There's our, there's our power, and then that's it. M M <laughs> Molex U. Okay, here we go. YouTube Gold Reach, good job, you guys. Let me get those last, 
nine subs, and then we'll have uh, we'll have the full round tonight. Let's get those last nine subs, guys. All right, here we go. No. Oh. Mobo. Ow, that was a lot of hard work. There's our GPU. There's our CPU. And then we have one little There we go, guys. PSU done. There we go. Yeah, just download you just download it onto USB. It's really straightforward. There we go. Okay, Tom, thanks. There we go. There we go. Okay, there we go. zoomed in so where's my there it is there we go okay wow those are really easy to get in to say that was actually really easy to get in. CPU, pretty straightforward. You got all sorts of room around this this Jeep, this CP, this power supply to basically run your cables.
And Roby, while I was gone, um, and while you were doing that, Tom actually put together a deals list for you. I know, he told me. Yeah, I saw that. That was very kind of you, Tom. He's like, nobody's going to tell me I didn't do my job. It's like, I wouldn't have said that anyway. He even found you a new TV. Wow. You a new TV. That is a, that is a, that is a goal. Shoot. No, it was going to happen. Oh, good. It's right there. There we go. Need this to stay together. There we go. There we go. Okay, guys, build done. There it is. Cables all controlled, managed. Used a number of zip ties, but not, not as many as we normally do. Still quite a few though. And there we go. Here, I'll bring it over so you guys can see the final cable managed build. So less than 60. Oh yeah, less than 60 for sure. There you go, there is the final cable managed build with all the RGB and everything. Very clean, I think. Actually, what I could do is just to make a little bit more cleanliness here. Better be even. Uh, that's a good question. I do not know. Okay, there we go. Let's get this. Uh, let's get this case put back together now. If Igor voted even, I'm feeling less and less confident in my vote. All right, build is done. Looks good.
nice and even and clean. There you go, there's a, there's a pre before we put all the stuff together, just give it a little bit more light there. There you go, very, very clean. Okay, let's start putting stuff back together now. There we go. Next up is that huge It's really big. Did you see uh, T. Jacobson's question over on YouTube there, Roby? I did not. Kind of an off-the-wall question, but why did you go with a 650 board instead of an X670? To be honest, I don't, I mean, the thing is, is that I don't need any, most people do not need what an X670 board has. Um, a B650 has plenty of RAM capability. You can still overclock if you want. I mean, not that you really overclock a 5800X 3D. Um, so there's just nothing on it that I need from an X, you know, like most people don't need uh, half the stuff that's on on an X uh, on an X570, uh, X670 board. Which is why you see me almost exclusively use B650. There's the front. It's not like Intel. Intel, you actually lose functionality in your CPU when you go to the lower end um, MOBOs, which kind of sucks. I wish that's something I hope they fix. There we go, cover on. And there it is, guys. The completed 800DX build. Again, just talking about parts list before we go into this stuff. Um, we've got the Ryzen 7 7800X 3D, Asus Tough Gaming B650 Plus Wi-Fi, Asus Tough Gaming Radeon RX 7800 XT, the Samsung 980 Pro 2 terabyte NVMe drive, G-Skill Triton Z5 Neo RGB 32 gigs at 6,000 mega transfer. Uh, the case, we got the Be Quiet Shadow Base 800DX. For the cooler, the Be Quiet Dark Rock Elite. And then the power supply, we're using the Be Quiet Pure Power 12M 850W 80 plus gold PSU. And again, this build, if you didn't do RGB fans and just follow it along, you don't have to. It would be just at 1800 bucks. Um, adding the RGB fans, how much did it add, uh, Thomas? Uh, a little bit more, but all you would do is you'd move the one fan to the front and then you should be absolutely fine with um, the power and everything you need for this PSU. So, I mean, for this uh, cooler. Uh, yeah, so it's like it goes to $1,900 if you do RGB fans. But RGB, I mean, it's worth it. You know what I'm saying? All right, there we go, guys. Let's count our let's count our zip ties, and then we'll get to our deals and our last little sponsor outside of Be Quiet today, and then we'll go from there. Okay, here we go. those out of the way. Yeah, from a from an investment standpoint, it's actually a really really good deal. Sorry, just getting my space kind of cleaned up so that way I that way you don't do stuff like, where's my knife? Because that happens too much, you know? And then and then Zeiston judges me. Where'd the box cutter go? Yeah, where'd the box cutter go? Oh, you said blame Zeiston if he, if it doesn't. You can't blame Zeiston. Zeiston is like, Zeiston is, is always going against the odds. Okay, right, here we go, guys. Now I got it all kind of under control here. And again, huge thank you to Be Quiet for giving us all the parts and sponsoring today's build. Here we go. One, two, three. 
four, five, five. One, two, three, four, five, there's 10. One, two, three, four, five, there's 15. One, two, three, four, five, there's 20. So now we're even so far. One, two, three, four, five, there's 25. Now we're odd. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. Now we're 30, we're even. One, two, three, four, five. 35, we're odd. 37, guys, it's odd today. 37, 37, guys. Odds win. We had an even last week, right? Yes. And yes, I blame Igor. <laughs> okay, guys, 37 it is. Let's talk about deals and our sponsor, and then we'll get this build turned on to do some thermal testing real quick. Unfortunately, we won't be doing any game testing today, but we have plenty of 7800X 3D uh, ones. Main reason being, guys, is that we, uh, I have to get ready to fly early tomorrow morning to, uh, to beautiful Al Los Angeles, California. So it's gotta be kind of, and I got, a, I got a freaking early flight. So I apologize for not making it the longest stream, but I appreciate you guys. I do have the, it is here. Um, it is here. Uh, where I, actually it's gonna be downstairs in the studio, so. Um, but it's not my main PC. My main PC is probably gonna be the 011 Vision. I think I'm gonna switch to that. All right, here we go, guys. Be quiet, you're talking too loud, huh? Okay, let's get this, uh, let's get our deals going. Yeah, I have, I just got, literally just got the white 4090. So I might switch to that and then I'll be good. And you guys have seen, you saw that build, it was awesome. Okay. Hold on one sec, guys. Oh, it's not set up. Hold on. Well, actually, it's, it's set up correctly. Okay, good. We'll leave it alone. Okay. I'm glad you like it. This actually, this chant, this, 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 I, I like, uh, Soundstripe is our audio. They're the ones who do our music. And to be honest, I love, they do a really good job. Um, and. Okay, so. You get finished with a PC build, and you're like, hey, Roby, and now I need to put a copy of Windows on it, so I want to pick up a copy of Windows. How much is a copy of Windows? Well, if you're to look at Best Buy or Newegg, 150 bucks uh, for copies of Windows 11, Windows 10, about a little over north of 100. But here at VIP slash CDKDeals.com, you can pick up Windows 10 Pro for $23.09, or Windows 11 Pro for $31.89. But let's say we're gonna pick up Windows 10 Pro, so we'll click into this, and then what you do, hit Buy Now, and you see right here where it says, use this key, this promotion code at checkout, go in there, put RBCK, hit apply, and what was $23.09 drops all the way down to $16.16, .16, which is a significant savings from $150. Well, what about copies of Office, Roby? I mean, those are pretty expensive too. So here we are, here's Office 2021, uh, regularly, uh, you know, you know, two, 300 bucks. Here you can pick it up for $103.44. But if you hit buy now, and you use RBCK at checkout and hit apply, what was $103.44 drops down to $72.41, which is, again, great savings and quite a bit less money than what you would spend um, 
quite a bit less money than you would spend uh, for a regular copy. And again, we've had thousands of people here at the channel who've used it. If you have any questions, the one thing is they are one use code. So they're not codes that you can use over and over again. That's one of the reasons they're as inexpensive as they are. They are legit, but if you have questions, just ask, they have great customer service. And if you have any issues with the cards, just ask them there at VIP slash CDK deals.com. So again, VIP slash CDK, CDK deals, uh, hit use RBCK at checkout for 30% off a lot of different stuff. All right, uh, next thing I want to talk to you guys about, and I'll promise to be quick about it, is uh, Robitech. Uh, Robitech.com, a lot of times you like you might see a build or something like that that you guys want to see. So again, if you like the like this build or you want to do a commission, somebody said, hey, do you know someplace I can get a PC built before Christmas? You can ask me. In fact, I do commission builds, and you can just go to Robitech.com, hit email, and that's the best way to have me uh, go about it. The other thing, too, is we have here builds. You can click on this. Here is... Every build and all the parts are all listed here, as well as a link to the actual video as well. This one's not here yet, but it will be. Um, so if you wanna follow along as we've gotten new cameras and stuff like that, it makes it a whole lot easier. So if you see a build you like, like our own vision build, you can just go right here to the place, find the parts, and then follow along in the video. Uh, let's see what deals Tom has found for us today, because he just found these. So here's the stream deals for 11 2023 uh, Asus Tough 15.6 inch gaming laptop. This is a Core i7 with 16 gigs of memory and an RTX 4070 for less than $1,000. Guys, my son has the older version of this laptop. I love the Tough laptops. They're liquid metal cooled. Um, Asus makes great laptops and less than $1,000 for a 4070 uh, Core i7. I'm assuming a uh, 13700H. Uh, great, great price. And then again, you can upgrade to 16 gigs by just grabbing these SODEMs right here from Crucial. They're $71, which will actually almost uh, up your performance by 25% in games. Uh, Deepcool LT720. Uh, this is the cooler we saw for the 7950X. This is a great, great cooler. Very easy to install. $106.99 using that promo code from Newegg. The LG Signature, oh wow, okay, yeah, this is actually a good, the LG Signature 97 inch Class M3 OLED. This is uh, $703 off if you were to purchase this, making it $29,296.99. If you buy that, please just text me and let me know, cause wow, what a deal. <laughs> Mine is a 95 inch, but geez, 97, uh, that's their high end one. Um, G Skill Flare X5 AMD, we've actually used this before. If you want the non RGB version of uh, their RAM, it's the Flare X5, 32 gigs on sale right now for $84.99, which is a great price for DDR5 RAM. And then finally, the Fractal Design Terra Jade. Love this case. You can put a 4090 in it with the 5800X 3D. Check out the, the, the video on it. Uh, it's on sale right now, $149.99, $30 off from Newegg. Tom, those are pretty good deals, but man, if you have anything to get excited about, please get that TV, guys. That's that's really going to get you, you know what I'm saying? 90, you know what I mean? Like It's just like $26,000. That's a steal. That's a steal. Am I right? Am I right? I am. I am. Please let us know. Tom would be really excited if somebody bought a $26,000 TV off of his deals. Wouldn't you, Tom? You'd be like, dang, that laptop, as, yeah. As Roby just added three of them to his cart. Yeah, that, that laptop, though, that laptop is a heck of a deal. $900 for that laptop is a really good deal. Okay, guys, thank you very much for bearing with us as we, uh, and thanks again, CDK Deals, for being a consistent sponsor of the channel. Again, also a huge shout out to Be Quiet. Um, for being a sponsor of today's episode and providing all the parts and the giveaway PC we're going to be doing later on. Now you guys are ready. It's time to turn it on. Ugh. Will it post? Did we do that vote yet? Are we good? Uh, I didn't catch that I one. Bonnie, did we run? Will it post? I know it's been, we've had some time off, so we might have, might have not done it yet. Like she said, yes. I was like, Blondie's like, you doubt me? How dare you, sir? Where is my, there it is. I need to find the cable, whoa, oh, oh. You are good, she says. Thank you, Blondie. I'm good, guys, you heard it confirmed by Blondie. Oh, 
Oh shoot, that was the wrong cable. Okay, here we go, boys and girls. Stupid covers. There we go. Oh, okay. Okay, we got it. Just takes a lot of cables to run a tech show, guys. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, I see lights. There it is. Oh man, the lighting on that, the lighting on the AIO is actually really cool. And we got lights on the front RGB fans. The, light, the lighting on the cooler is actually really nice. There it is, guys. Still waiting to see if it posts. The rear fan is not spinning. So it was spinning when you first turned it on. I'm wondering if that's not a software controlled hub. No, it's it's plugged into the Mobo. Oh, see, it just started spinning oh, again. Oh, it did, it did, okay. Yeah, we're good. Yep. All the fans are spinning. It's not loud. The loudest fan in that system, except for the pop, Possibility of the GPU is only 25 decibels, so it won't be loud at all. No, it won't. It's actually really quiet. Okay, we're just waiting, guys. It's sitting on an orange light. Oh, no, it's still going through. Oh, shoot. I hit the, okay, I accidentally hit the power button. Oh, it's posted. Just did the post light. You know what? Dang it. Oh, there it goes. Okay, good. It did post. There it is, guys. It is posted. There is our proof. Just gonna fix one thing. Ow. Oh, that hurt. Okay, cool. There you go. That looks better. All right, here we go. Let's hit, let's get in. Let's turn it, let's get it all lit the way it needs to be lit. Where is my mouse? Got it, and I brought it over. Probably left it in the hallway where you left your knife earlier. No, I definitely didn't do that. I remember saying I need this and then setting it over here. We used it for the video that we recorded before we got over this. Okay, it's rebooting, guys. Okay, here we go.
Okay, well, I'll grab the other one out of here. I like that other mouse a lot. Okay, Expo's disabled, we'll enable it real quick. There we go, enabled. I see the Corsair one. Oh, I found it. There's a different angle for you. It's gonna take a little while for it to boot up. Not even a, yeah, not a, not a, not a creature was stirring, not even Roby's mouse, but he found it. Yeah, I know, Joe. Yeah, it just it just posted. It's popping up now. Thank you for reminding me. Okay, give it a second. Give it a second. Hoping, I'm hoping. There it goes. Boom, all be quiet orange, except for the GPU decided to be a jerk, but everything else all be quiet orange. There it goes, there it is. Now it's all be quiet orange. So there we go, and then here's from the, here's from the front there. So that's what it looks like. That, that came out very nice. You know what I mean? Very beautiful build. I'd say, wouldn't you say? That looks great. Uh, it's super clean. Yeah, I think, I think the only thing I'd probably change is I might go to orange and black fans. But yeah, that's a great looking build. Okay, well now it's time guys to see how it performs. Yeah, it's got a very clean look to it, I agree. Okay, let's go to side here. It would help if I put it the right direction and not was lame. Nice and clean, Roby, but I am headed to bed, sir. You have a great night. We'll see you later, sir. Apparently I'm dumb and I can't figure out how to put this on. Ugh. Oh, okay. There we go. Okay guys, man, that thing is blowing a lot of air. Here we go, a little peel action for you. There we go. Beautiful. Let's 
So it's all peeled now. There we go. Okay. Well, let's see. Let's just see how it does, right? Because that's the that's the key thing here. There we go. Okay, and let's go down to 150. There we go. Okay, so let's put in, let's just gonna put a couple things in real quick. There we go. Oh no, don't do that. Oh shoot. It almost got me trapped. Let's grab. Here. I'm actually going to do one thing too, just because of this. I'm going to do one other thing because I just wanted to make sure it was done correctly. Because if you don't do this, you can't actually change stuff. Chipsets B650E, right? B650. Okay. Oh, you're welcome, Martian R. Gapsy. Oh, it won't melt, dude. It's just people, yeah, people uh, people doing stuff, he, he's not wrong. It's from people not installing it all the way, and that's been, that hasn't been a problem for a while now. If you go to Soundstripe playlist, it's the holiday playlist. You're very welcome. It's a great playlist. There we go. I just always do this anyway. I didn't, I wasn't able, because I wasn't here, uh, Kevin set this up and I just want to make sure these are correct because these can affect performance. Thank you very much for saying that. I really appreciate that. And I hope the same for you. Yeah, I'll, I will try. We'll, uh, let's, we'll throw in MSI. Let's throw it, let's grab MSI Afterburner real quick and we'll, uh, we'll check gaming temperatures uh, just real quick. Just so we have thermals for both of those. I'm gonna wait 
Wait, that, for that's finished, okay, hit this. I'm old tech, I like that. Yeah, I know. I just, I'm used to using this one. I could use the Radeon overlay. I just, I, I always want, I'm uniform about my testing, so that's why. It's nothing against the overlay or anything like that. I'm just gonna show temperatures and nothing. I'm just gonna show, I'll, I'll put a couple things on, but nothing crazy. There you go, here's the build again. Now I'm gonna tell you guys why you're waiting, while we're waiting for this to install, here's the build again. And then again, just to re remind people parts when we're about to go into the little bit of testing here. We have the AMD Ryzen 7 7800X3D. Uh, we're using the Asus Tough Gaming B650 Plus Wi-Fi. Uh, Asus Tough Gaming Radeon RX 7800XT. Samsung 980 Pro, two terabyte. We got the G-Skill Triton Z5 Neo RGB 32 gigs at 6,000 megahertz. We got the Be Quiet Shadow Base 800DX as the case. The cooler is the Be Quiet Dark Rock Elite. And then power supply, we got the Be Quiet Pure Power 12M 850 watt 80 plus gold PSU. So this build all up, uh, if you weren't gonna do the RGB is about 1800 bucks. If you add RGB, it's 1900 bucks, which is what you're seeing. We have the RGB fans in here. You do not have to do those. If you wanted to, you could get it to about $1,800. So, and then again, if you wanted to follow along, you could build this exact build, which here's a great view of it. I love how it looks from this perspective. Um, uh, right there, just a great looking PC uh, just sitting there, yeah. So, okay, here we go. That's all done. We'll just do this real quick so we just have it. Uh, on screen display, monitoring, sorry. We'll do GPU temperature. Okay, GPU one usage. Uh, GPU one memory usage. Uh, GPU one core clock, why not? Uh, GPU one memory clock, why not? You guys love that too. GPU one power. CPU temperature. CPU usage. CPU clock. CPU power. And then we'll do frame rate. And we'll do frame time. There you go, guys. Okay, so we're all set there. We're gonna restart one more time. And then we will get going. You can guys get a little view of the build one more time. And then we, what do we got for giveaways, Blondie? Since we're going in, or what, since we're getting ready to get into blond giveaways here pretty soon. We have the 25, two $25 new gift cards, right? And then we've got the $50. Oh no, we didn't, guys, we're eight subs away from $50. 
No, we're eight subs away from 50 bucks, guys. So then, but we got a level five hype train. So we got the level five hype train in the in the $25 new gift card. Um, and then we got uh, we got the um, we have what that that's most of them, right? Yeah. Waiting for the PC to reboot. Okay. Oh, thanks, Araxnus. Okay, now we have everything ready. Let's start with... Cinebench. Okay, hardware info. I'll look here in a minute. Okay, here's where we get a test. We get to test that new cooler. So right now, we're sitting at 42 degrees. Okay, so let's just give this a multi-core. See what this thing can do. Holy crap, look at that org. Org, do you yeah. see this? Yeah, this cooler was rated very highly. It was very close to a 360 AM. Wow, guys, this is sitting at 80 degrees with an air cooler. And it is, it's not, it's not loud. That is really impressive. Wow. Wow, that's, I mean, we might get into 80, but like we've seen AIOs that haven't cooled this well. Wow, that's really impressive. The RAM is 6,000 mega transfer, yep. Guys, this thing is crushing. That cooler is doing such a good job. I mean, it's a rated 280 watts. We're at like, eight, I mean, 200, we're at 88, but dude, it is doing a great job. On AM5, does it doesn't mean much anymore since it boosts so heavily. Yeah. Wow, okay, wow, that is very, uh, right now it's at it's at eighteen thousand ninety three, which is about average for a seven eight hundred X three. A little, actually, a little bit higher. Um, but yeah, no, it's. I mean, the cooler is doing, and it's, dude, it's, it's even sound, right? It's just, I mean, dude, it's blowing so much air. Yeah, that's an excellent air cooler. Yeah, that thing's just not doing anything. Okay, cool. Well, there we go. So that's that's your temps when, when, uh, that's your temps when basically. Uh, there you go. Let's just take a look here real quick. Just look at some gaming temps, just because. I just want to show you guys gaming temps. We're not going to do a bunch of different games, but let's throw in a Starfield, uh, which is a beautiful game for Radeon. Let's throw on MSI Afterburner. Let's just go and make sure. There you go. There you go. Oh, 
Let me grab, oh, that's right, it doesn't work. Just waiting for the load. It's gonna load. There we go. There we go. Let's go to settings. We're just, all I want to do is just make sure, I, I, I'm pretty sure we're probably at 1080p. No, we're at 1440p, okay, cool. Let's go to ultra. So this is 1440p ultra. With FSR. Oh, I think I have, I have V-Sync on. I'm 90% sure. Let's turn mulch and blur off. There it is. Okay. There we go. 118 frames per second, and look at that temp, 55. It is like just, it is just keeping it super frosty. And I mean, again, this game is running beautifully. 1440p at uh, 1440p um, on planet with ultra settings. Yes, there's FSR. It'd probably run closer to 80 if we turned off. We just went native, but... Yeah, this is like having no problem running this game. That case airflow is really good. Look at the GPU temp. I know, the GPU temp is like 45. <laughs> and it's like, it's not even getting direct airflow. Just really good fans. Now my ambient in my studio is actually pretty low right now, just as an FYI too. So it's, so that's, I'm just letting you know, it is colder in here than normal. So there's a little bit, but again, even under warmth, it wouldn't be that bad. Do you have a temperature gauge around to tell us the ambient? Uh, no, not in here. I should, I'll get one. Okay, so let's go, let's go, let's go look in space real quick and then we'll call it and start giving ways. There we go, 116 frames per second, no problem. Well guys, that seems pretty dang good. Okay. So there it is, there is our build. And that is it. Okay, giveaway time, guys. Great build. Very impressive. Looks fantastic. Themed looks really good. I'm gonna check our give our stuff. Okay. 
Okay, guys, we're actually, we need, oh no, we're good. Okay, we're good. So we got a $50 new a gift card. But can we just fill out the bar? Can we just get eight subs to fill up the bar? Bar? Can somebody just fill up the bar? That would be great. And it helps me, you know what I mean? Let's just uh, fill up the bar though. Cause then it just, it won't, it'll fix my OCD. That's what I want right now. I just want to fill up my, fill up, help me with my OCD. Okay, let's do our giveaways though. First up, two $25 new gift cards. Two $25 new gift cards up for grabs. Exclamation point community. Hey, Riddick, thank you very much. Whoa, now, you wait, you guys all messed it up. Now it's not, okay. Well, there we go. That works way better than you guys. <laughs> well, there's that. Thank you very much, Brian, not Brian, Riddick, and do the Drew for figuring it. This is what happens. Yeah, well, thank you. I appreciate it. Okay, starting it out right now, guys. Two $25 New Egg gift cards off grab exclamation point New Egg now. I uh, sorry, exclamation point community. Exclamation point community up for grabs. Two minutes, guys. There you go. Man, this is a org. That was a, this is a heck of a build. You know what I mean? It's 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 also it's very attractive, especially with the light wing fans. It's not a it's not an overly egregious looking build. It, it it's with all the black and everything else. It's very clean, very straightforward in the temps and do this cooler, crazy impressive, how effective it is at cooling. Yeah, the way you have it configured right now is basically the FX model, but you started off with the DX, DX model. model. Yep. So the FX model is just like this for RGB fans in the same configuration. Very impressive case, guys. Very impressive case. Very impressive. Like, really love the way this kit, this build came out. Um, and uh, yeah, it's it's just got really great hardware in it. Um, and so very, very happy with it. And again, guys, for people joining us as they're watching the giveaway, what are we talking about? What's inside of this? We got the Ryzen 7 7800 X3D, Asus Tough Gaming B650 Plus Wi-Fi, the Tough Gaming RX 7800 XT, Samsung 980 Pro 2 terabyte NVMe drive, the G-Skill Triton Z5 Neo RGB 32 gigs at 6,000 megahertz. The case is the Be Quiet Shadow Base 800, basically, uh, FX, even though this one is the DX, and then we have the Be Quiet Dark Rock Elite Cooler, which is very impressive, and then the Be Quiet Pure Power 12M 850-watt, 80-plus cold PSU, uh, and that is what is inside of this, and this is how it comes out right here, this beautiful build. Uh, here you go. Okay, you know while you're into the raffle, congratulations to Solo Dolo and Jace 2010. Solo Dolo and Jace 2010, you guys are the winners of the $25 new a gift cards. The guys, very impressive. Just really guys, this is yeah. I, I want I want to keep it, but I can't. Okay. Let's go to the next one guys. Exclamation point new egg now. $50 new egg gift card up for grabs. I love this song. Okay, $50 new egg gift card up for grabs. Exclamation point new egg now starting right now, why can I never find the $50? Because, oh, there it is, right there. Two minutes, guys. Now, what's happening for the rest of the week? We are back tomorrow, 3.30 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, we are going to be doing a mod workshop. Let me see who and what we're doing. I think I got an email about it. Let me see. Okay, so it is. We are doing it with Pip 
Pip Luptini. Pup Pip Luptini. That's who we're doing it with. Pip Luptini. So that's tomorrow. We're doing it in partnership with CLX. That's what we're doing with CLX. So there we go. Uh, so we'll be doing a CLX build tomorrow. Okay, let's sit there. 28 seconds. So that's going to be happening on Thursday, tomorrow, which is a regular stream time. And then we are back on Saturday checking out the APCX case. It actually color changes, doing a really, really cool build inside of that. So that's going to be a lot of fun. That's going to be happening on Saturday. And then we finally start to get into a regularly scheduled program, regularly scheduled week. But I'll be honest, guys, December is going to be a little whack. So I'll definitely need your support. And thanks for everybody who's done Partner Plus. And again, congratulations to you. And then Friday is Intel. Yes, Friday afternoon, noon, Intel morning show. Um, and thank and congratulations to the entire community for hitting Partner Plus for month one. We are already on the trajectory, unlocking a 1400K. We're going to be giving that away on Saturday. So definitely tune in for that, guys. Congratulations to Wings. Wings, you are the winner of the $50 New Egg gift card. Anyway, guys, that is it for today's stream. Thank you again so much for all the support for the month of November, for getting us Partner Plus. We have two more months to go. Uh, thank you so much for everybody who gave subs today, uh, who uh, donated. Apparently, I got a $100 donation. I'm sorry I didn't see it. We'll find it, and I will. I, if you did, thank you very much for that. Uh, for all the follows, a huge shout-out to all of my mods, my tech specialists, and everybody else who makes this show happen. It is a community and it is a team effort to make stuff like this going and thank you so much to everybody for showing up mired media thank you very much for the uh the beautiful raid we will see you guys tomorrow in los angeles california for mod workshop outside of that have a great night and we will see you guys on the next episode bye guys